What's the average life in the NBA players? What's the average? Four years. Four years. Wow. Four years. Four years is the average lifespan of an mm. NBA career. Mm. And it takes us five years after that to go broke. To go broke. Easy numbers game. I, shit, I, I do it like this. You make $5 million, two and a half of that gone. You mm -hmm. got agent fees, probably another 50 of that gone. Mm -hmm. um, you great. got your dues. A lot of people don't know we got dues for dues. the MB MBPA. So yeah, what? you got dudes. So everybody put their money in the pot. So you figure you got 450 NBA players. Mm -hmm. I think the dudes is 15 to 20 grand a year. Everybody wow. put it in the pot. That's how we able to get our health care and all of that type of shit. I didn't know that. Then you got, uh, you got your personal staff. Yeah, Financial yeah. advisor is probably 1%. Mm -hmm. Agent at a high number is going to get 4%. Right. Or, but you can negotiate from 1 to 4. Okay. So before you look up, you probably at 1.5 million <sighs> off of 5 God. With nothing. Damn. And these benzes that we keep talking about in these <laughs> mansions and shit, these girlfriends and these Chanel bags, mm. before you know it, you you not a millionaire no more. Right. You a high thousandaire on paper. You can tell a motherfucker, fuck you, I'm a millionaire. Right. In real life, a lot of that pie gone. So, again, and we 17, 18-year-old kids, these are our first experiences. Mm -hmm. It's going to take us, I don't care what you go to school for, it's going to take you five, six years of that experience to even realize what's happening to you. I was, I was, hey, listen, man, I had a, I had a week. I bought a Ferrari and a Lamborghini in the same week, and I, I rationalized it with my financial advisor, and he was like, I can't legally tell you what to do with your money, but I don't think that's a good decision. Right. And I said, it's cool, I make a bunch of this shit. <laughs> I did, I, but I was young. What year was this? What year, do you remember? Man, I had to be 24, I had to be 24, 25 years old. So it was like old. the sixth or seventh season? 2012. But no, nah, like you have, you want to enjoy some of this stuff too, yeah, bro. you do, like you do. You want to enjoy it. And so that's how, I, but that's how athletes go broke. A lot of people think it's like you just got a reckless spending habit. Yeah. It ain't that we got reckless it's spending habits. We just got crazy overhead. And once the check stop, mm -hmm. it gets completely different. It's nobody sitting there giving you real numbers because it's coming in so fast. Money coming in so fast. That's just a contract. Like, you might have a shoe deal. You might have some endorsements. So mm -hmm. you feel like this shit is going to be forever. It was right. culture shock to me. The first week, I didn't get a big check from being retired. Mm. Where it was like, oh. oh I got to figure this shit out. Yeah, like, <laughs> life has begun. <laughs> like, I feel like my life really started when I, ret when I retired, bro. Wow. Because I never spent that much time at home. I never spent weeks at a time in my own crib. So is that is that another reason where they say a lot a lot of when athletes retire they get a divorce too because now they home yeah, yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah. You don't really know the woman you married. I'm from Atlanta. Right. If I'm playing for the Clippers, she might move with me, mm -hmm. but I'm on the road three, four nights a week. I only got to deal with her for two nights at two a nights time. At a time. Wow. You dig what I'm saying? I got to deal with her two nights at a time during the week. You know how we keep her happy? Keep sending her to the mall. To the mall. That's Brothers. how you keep her quiet. That's why. That's why it can. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. It's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I'll stay home with the kids. Right. <laughs> it's okay. You know why? Because she can shop in That's peace. It, right. You ain't in her fucking ear. Face. And mm. you on the road doing whatever you doing. She ain't in your ear. Mm. Come home two days out that week. Play family. And then you retire. And you got to deal with this shit 24-7. Oh, oh, oh. Play That's house. Tough, yeah, you playing tough. house. You on, your, you on your best behavior. How about that? That's the reality. So when you get, when you get to a place where, like I said, I, I was single. So I'm coming home with just my crib. Mm -hmm. Let's say you don't even have kids involved. Well, you got a long time girlfriend. Y'all y'all really got to get to know each other for real. Because mm. he's used to spending time with you, getting the fuck out of here. Right. Spending time with you, getting the fuck out of here. So how you going to keep her happy when your keep her happy button is send her to the mall. Right. And that half a million dollar check that you got last week, that ain't a half a million dollar check this week. So when you come home, man, y'all don't know who y'all are. For longer than five. Who that little nigga? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Straight up. Because you know what it is? You get into your room. You check in. Do your check-in phone call. Right. Go back to living your life. Oh she go back to managing the house. A lot of my good brothers are who they say they are. Real right. God-fearing family right. men. And some of us like to play. And me included. I take. I say I'm first. So anybody saying I'm talking too much about it. Right. I was one of them. I was one of them. I was there a you go. team captain. So mm. you know your wife for five minutes at a time for real. Wow. So hell yeah, she leaving your ass when that shit when when right. the shit that keep a smile on right, her face right. ain't ain't there no more. That that resource ain't there no more. And it Man. get different. Never looked at it like that. Yeah. I never looked at it like that.